Hi everyone. We're just being asked to solve this logarithmic equation. And when you're dealing with a logarithmic equation, uh, normally what we want to do is we want to group together the logarithms, combine them together, and then isolate that logarithm, convert here. But they've done a lot of that work for us. They've already isolated this. So I'm just going to convert this to the exponential form. So this will be x to the negative 2 thirds is equal to 64. Okay? Now this is just a, the, re, the result here. This gives us just a power equation. It's not exponential. The variable here is in the base. So I don't need to use logarithms to solve it. All I really need to do here is take both sides to the negative 3 halves. Okay? So now on our variable that'll just end up being x. This becomes 64 to the negative 3 halves. So now we're going to end up taking a square root. Okay, so that's going to be plus or minus the square root of, of 64. And the square root of 64 is 8, so plus or minus 8 to the negative 3. Okay, now, because it's, I'm cubing this, the cube is going to, to maintain the sign here, whether it's positive or negative. Okay, the negative here in the exponent is going to cause a reciprocal, so this is going to be 1 over, sorry, I should say this, plus or minus 1 over 512. But this actually doesn't work as my final solution because I've got to go back up and look at what, where my x is in here and think back to the way we've defined these things. I really can't let the base of that logarithm be negative. So in this case here, therefore we would say that x is simply 1 over, positive 1 over 512. That's the root that we're actually looking for here.